Welcome, folks, to the 2021 Baycor Park Invitational presented by Crusader Disc Golf. We are here back for the back nine. We are here back, back, back for the back of the back nine. So many backs at the Baby back got nine. back. Baby, Baby got, got back. back. back As nine. always, we have we have Eric Gartner, Donnie Stout, and Eric Stout playing on the course. And in the uh, commentary booth, you have the brothers, myself, Donnie, and of course, Eric, welcome, folks. So, interesting front nine. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what the players can do this time around. Uh, I'm the only one sitting plus, but you two are both uh, minus two. Yep, minus two for both of us. So we're vying for the big win here. But uh, lo and behold, Donnie, uh, you still have an opportunity here to collect some berries on the back and potentially get back into the mix of things. So yeah. we'll just see how it goes. Definitely, uh, definitely harder, but still some very gettable birdies here on the back nine. So without further ado, let's jump into hole ten. Okay, so this is hole 10, par 3, 365 feet. Uh, it's a very tight little fa uh, fairway here, so you either want to play something very low underneath the trees or go over the top over the road, and then once you get, once you get through that, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty open. You're playing uh, under the basket on hole 1, same baskets and everything, so it's pretty rudimentary once you get past there, but your first shot is going to be the key one. Probably the toughest hole on the course as you can see from the camera back behind yeah. where we're standing, you get a lot better view. And you do a fantastic job getting right over the top yeah. and in the fairway. I got a little lucky between the trees a little bit. Eric's taking the alternate route straight at it and hits the tree straight ahead. If it was just a few feet yeah. below that, I think he would have streamed right through. Yep. I like to go over the top as well. It's definitely easier in my opinion, less technical. Bailey's searching and for it. I get over and... You got whoop, it. I got it. I got a tree in my way, but we'll see. Uh, he's Eric is essentially pitching up, essentially conceding uh, bogey, really, because it's going to be very difficult for him to make a putt from... And that's outside of circle, too, I want to yeah. say. I didn't have much of a lane here, so I decided to go around the tree, but I decided to go... Uh, maybe around Did the that tree. Clip the other tree? Yeah, clipped okay. the other tree. I went so far up there. and to the right. <laughs> Definitely not the best shot. And I have the cleanest approach. Nothing in the way. Probably a hundred feet if that out. Not even. You got it. Should be a simple Probably 10, putt. 15 feet. Yeah. Eric with the zone. Pin high. Eric, yeah, Eric, 10 feet, too. This is for par. We'll see if my putting woes can change here. I saw the spin on they it, but I didn't get enough lift, yeah. <laughs> Probably a little tentative there, too. You definitely don't want to take a double bogey starting right off the top. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Those single-chain baskets. Yeah, oh, this is me. They're, uh... Asking what to do at this point because every time I putt, I feel very tentative about not wanting to cut through again. Already had one bad incident, nearly had two. Just want to do what Eric does right here and just lay it gently into the basket when you're that close. Yeah, even my light shot somehow yeah. sneaks to the back of the chains. All right, moving on to hole 11, par 3, 339 feet. Essentially, remember hole 2, but what, maybe 60 feet back? Just adding a little more. Yeah. You, so you got all the woods and shrubbery on your right side. You just want to avoid that at all costs. You have the road on the far, far left, but you're probably not going to get out to it. Just want to either do backhand Anheuser or maybe forehand something up and get somewhere up close near the basket, maybe a little up past that fire hydrant. So I think I took the pad. I'm going with uh, Hades, but it's, again, too low, a little too turned on the edge of the junk there. I think you do bounce a little bit out of the junk. Yeah, just on the edge. Eric's going, I think he's going, this little flexy nuke, if I had, if I had to guess. Very high, swooping turnover shot. And pretty good. That was, yeah, you want to be right by that fire hydrant. It's perfect. That was great. That was a good shot. I decide to... Try a little backhand action here. Unfortunately, I was hoping that disc would flip a little bit. It's my underworld, and uh, I put it on a little too much hyzer. Back far away from the basket. 
Upshot, That's just eerily unfair. enough, yep. is right where it was last time on hole two where I got that double bogey. No. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Basically, Eric, just, yeah, that's a, that's a good pitch. Nice job. Yeah, pitched right under the basket. Eric from the hydrant. Oh, Ooh, it's a gave good it bid. A, gave it a bid. And this hey. time, I get it. Bailey giving you props, too. And uh, you telling me I have such a nice set of cans there as I <laughs> make the basket. <laughs> oh. Just clean it up. Eric makes good on his par as well. And you clean it up right nice. So we all take a nice little par frame. It's nothing to be sad or disappointed about. So this is uh, hole 12, part three, 322 feet. So you're just gonna wanna probably do a straightforward hyzer shot and just make sure you don't hit any of the large trees, get something down there. And again, you don't wanna leave it too far short because then you're gonna be left with a downhill, kind of a deathy putt. And again, you don't wanna be too far left either there's the road over there, but pretty straightforward shot, nothing too crazy. Yeah, it's that downhill upshot putt, death putt, which is really the hardest part of this hole. And I'm disking up to a D2. And I really like the shot until it hit the tree. And you hit the same hit tree last time on three. Uh, a little high, of yeah, course. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one right. a lot lower, That's unfortunately. Right. Eric, I think he's going with a nuke here, but I'm not 100% sure. I think that's fading a little much for him. He's and down he's, there, though. He's, he's down there, He's yeah. pen high, basically. Yeah, you just see it settled there on the left. Throwing an Aztec here. It's a little, a little low. low, unfortunately. I pretty much get up where you are, where you hit the tree, and I don't hit the tree, but that's okay. So the zone pitch, and I just saw this off terribly. Very. That was probably thus far my worst shot, in my opinion. Yeah, you're going to have a, a difficult look at par there. Yeah. I'm just trying to get safe here. Just roll oh. it, and it's and sucks. knurled up. Yeah, just got the yeah. uphill putt. Yeah, Eric's definitely outside the circle here. Close. Oh, hit the pin, I think. Yep. Yeah. This is a little for par here. Yeah, a little frightening because it is. Uh, if you miss, you're going yeah, downhill, it's... and I yeah. just absolutely fluff it. And I wanted to throw I the mean, second putt, but I restrained myself. To be honest, I think you'd rather fluff it there and hit the bottom pin like you did rather than hit like the top band or something well, yeah, and roll and down take, the hill. Take a double. Yeah. Still doesn't feel good either way. It ties things up at minus one for for the Eric's here. Hole 13, par three, 287 feet, just downhill throw something perfectly straight at the basket or you can hyzer around the right side and get close honestly any shot you want it's your opportunity to throw nothing's really wrong here maybe the easiest hole on the back nine definitely it's one you probably want to get a birdie on eric elects for the Ooh. right Right side route and it's, it's still there. Yeah, unfortunately there. the grass really yeah. slowed him down. He he wanted to skip there. Yeah, very thick grass. I was hoping to get a little bit more glide out of my out of my tomb there, yeah, but unfortunately I'm short. really short. It's gonna be tough, tough to get a birdie there. And I think I dissed up to a firebird here, left it high and right, just let it hyzer in, but. Eh, right by Eric. A little short, too. Yeah. I think if you got a tiny bit farther and hit that road, I think you would have gotten yeah. a nice skip. But unfortunately, the grass is not letting us do what we want to do today. So this is inside the circle, maybe 25 feet. <laughs> you're, the, you're the child in the background going, <laughs> I'm not happy about that. You're right. That, he didn't affect me. I'm just... Uh, the child sounds zone. like mini-me in Austin Powers. <laughs> Eric probably 20 good. feet out. Yeah, we are yeah. just... Uh, the putting woes continue for everyone. Yeah. Eric taps at his par there, and the rest of us will tap in our par as well. 
we kind of just want to forget this whole that we all really parred a hole. Yeah, that was a bad job by all. That was a th- all three of us bad job there. No one could even get a birdie. But hey, this is uh, time for redemption here on a, arguably the toughest hole on the course, in my opinion. This is hole 14, par three, 311 feet. So just a huge, giant, swooping Anheuser shot that you don't want to turn over too much because then you're off in the right side junk. So you just want to keep it uh, in the middle. And then if you also don't want to be on the left-hand side too, because then you'll be, you'll be pinching yourself a little <laughs> too much there and you won't be able to get into the green. So it is a blind shot too. See what Eric can do here. I think he's got a Valkyrie in his hands, maybe. He gets a oh. good angle on it. Unfortunately, it's that, not bad. It's a good shot. The hill's just. It's really hard to tell, but it's always so in the way. I'm going with my underworld here, trying to do repeat what Eric did. Unfortunately, I threw too it low. too low and it cut rolls on me. And I'm on the top of the hill. At least you have a decent look at the basket from there. I'm going with the same disc that I went the first time around. This is just an AVR putter. Just try to keep it high and get it turned over. Keep it in the middle. Way too low. Over by Donnie. Yep. Right, right next, next to next to each other. And, oh, you got a little skip action. Yeah, that unfortunately... Could... Yeah, not I was trying great... to aim low at the basket. Unfortunately, I... Get a little skip off the hill yeah. and go right into the bushes. Eric, you have a little bit more of an open area. Yeah, I just didn't get it over enough. That was a yeah. banger GT. And you're I in just, that tough spot, too, yeah. where you got a few trees to deal with while you're trying to putt. Eric, with a basically, in my opinion, an impossible look from there. It's just so tough. It's a downhill hyzer shot from 80 feet away. I don't even know exactly, but it's just so tough. This is my... Uh, this is a throw for par, and I at least get out of there. So, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. do <laughs> do that, of course. Oh, oh, despite the plus four, at least we're having fun. Honestly, Eric had a good bid there. It's Fortunate tough, that's but sad. you know, yes. This is for par. It's a little lane, but uh, a little high, a little left. <laughs> Butt, butt nugget. It's got a butt nugget. To finish off the bogey. Really want to make this one. Nice. Good. Didn't sneak through. Heart of the chains. Probably my best putt of the tournament. Uh, you had one on hole nine, didn't you? That was good. No, what nine, I, nine, I bogeyed. I think. Uh, maybe I think of a different one then. Either way. Either way. Good putt. Seen a lot of red on the scorecard. Yeah, that's uh sad. <laughs> Sad, but it happens. So Eric and I are back to even, I believe, now. Yeah. Moving on over to hole 15, par 3, 243 feet. From the tee pad, the basket, you cannot see at all. You just have to rip something up the hill and get it near the basket. Once you're up the hill, though, it's pretty easy. You just got to hope to get one close and tap it in. There are a couple trees in the way that you just want to get around and avoid, but... Really, as long as you can get up there, you should be good. Do you know what Eric's ripping on here? Uh, maybe an eagle? I'm not sure exactly. A yellow disc. Does he get around the tree? He... Oh, he's he doesn't. Not. Yeah, that's the tough part. That tree's wide and in the way. I'm trying to go forehand, trying to go left around the tree. Unfortunately... Oh, it's way uh, too much. Way, way too, too high. Hyzer. Much hyzer. I'm probably pin high at enough. that point, but it's probably 50 foot putt. This is that streamlined drift again that I threw, I think on seven. I actually really like the shot. Yeah, this is clean. Almost a, almost oh, a repeat. Oh man, almost I didn't realize it was. From what was that, six? Yeah, yeah if it was a, a few feet to the left, it would have been in. It yeah. was uh, basket high, coming in hot. Eric's probably. 70 feet from yeah. there. Just Outside pitches up to the basket. Give himself that uh, stress-free par there. A little far as well, too. Probably 50 feet. I juice oh, one. Yeah, and, juiced it. Oh, boy. That's that spin putt for you. Yeah. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have went for glory there, but, you know. That's... <laughs> <laughs> you can see the frustration <laughs> starting to set in there. 
It was not a great putt, but I'm just this basket's had it out for you. This is the one I had to spit on. You wanted on, that birdie. So. Oh yeah, I definitely wanted that. That's heartbreaking. You know what's sad? I should probably be checking my disc too because yeah. I'm getting a bogey on this hole. Fortunately, no one uh, <laughs> gave me a courtesy violation for my. No, thriller. we don't. At the end of the day. <laughs> I think maybe we tried to take it a little too bit too seriously <laughs> on our first attempt doing yeah. something like this, you know? Oh, I'm having fun. No, we, we're all definitely having fun. It's just uh, maybe next time we'll be a little bit more loosey-goosey. Maybe. Or maybe not. Who knows? Maybe we'll be a little more tight butthole. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> and just finish things off with a par. Yep. So this is 16, par 3, 322 feet. So this is... Uh, Straight shot, hyzer shot, you want to get underneath the trees and just kind of skip something up to the basket, which is a slightly downhill. Basically, it just, the discs kind of funnel into this little downhill area if you can get it over this little knoll. So it's not a terribly difficult shot, but you just don't want it, the discs to be too high flying in. And God, we really need that drone. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think Eric so is bad. going with, that oh, is he's going very high with the nuke, yeah. Oh, he, he he cuts right through the trees in between them. He and gets it and he parks it. Yep. Uh, he's wow. What maybe fifteen feet? That's yeah, really good. I'm going probably with the best shot of the back nine. I'm going with a nuke. And a similar line to Eric's, but a little more uh, a, little a little more fade to a it. Little shorter. A little short. Yep. I wonder if that branch or the leaves that you heard slowed you down a little bit. Yeah, I just didn't put enough oomph on it, I think. Cause I'm, I'm trying to follow the line that these two did. Oh, it's understable. But it hooks up. Oh, it did. Pretty much right by me. Pretty much same spot where Eric is. That's probably, what, 35 yeah, feet Yeah, a little outside. Basket. Yeah, a little outside. 40, maybe. It's a good, yeah. it's a good bid, just yeah, right on the bottom of the cage. Done a few of those today, just not quite enough oomph. Try not to juice this one. I definitely don't juice <laughs> it. But that'll be easy tapping for par. So Eric to take the lead here with only uh, two holes to go now. And uh, we finally got some green on the back nine. Yeah. So that's always nice to see. <laughs> finally. That's actually the first birdie of the back nine, which is kind of embarrassing, but it is what it is. Yep. Eric's really trying to fight for those uh, three tour points. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hole 17, par 3, 313. Similar to what you saw on hole 8, same exact pin, just tee pad a little bit farther back. The only thing that's a little different about the tee pad situation here is there's a cedar on the left, probably about 60 feet from the basket, that kind of pinches you off, so you do have to go hyzer around the right side. You just want something to make the distance and. Get under the basket. I think Eric's throwing so, a force here, I believe. Yes, he is. Throwing a force. Take the hyzer out. Keeps it low. A little low. Looking for a skip. Unfortunately, Does he not get a skip at dies all. Dies in the grass. Yeah, the grass is just too dense. I'm going with the D2. Oh, I, I mean, really you, like the you rip it. And I juiced it again. And so you probably go 350 rather yeah, than I, 313. <laughs> I juiced it along again. Didn't learn the first time around. Throwing a destroyer here. This is actually here. a really good shot. I like that. On Heiser the entire time. Yep. Just a little short, but it was a good line. Yep. I'm probably 20, 25 feet from the basket. Eric's just going to pitch up. Yep. Gets right up to the basket. Very nice. Playing it safe, he's trying to, see, to hold on to that lead. It's coming down to the wire here. Can you close in here? And if I get nice this green, I could potentially tie it up. From the junk, not uh, even close. Nope. For birdie here, and uh, I don't really oh, want to. I don't really want to talk about that one. It just felt. It literally fell out of your hand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just definitely. Uh, I think I would rather take. The double bogey I had on two, <laughs> then do that again. Yeah, that's that's not fun, but still take. A but hey, okay. you know what? It wasn't a bogey, so that's nice. So far. 
Still par. Still par. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Eric's not wrong. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Eric cleans up with the par. Still holding on to that lead. On to the last hole, hole 18. We're only playing 18 for this video. We wanted to test things out, see how things would go, see if you can hold it. Yeah, so as Donnie mentioned the first time around, this is kind of the more most wooded slash technical hole here. It's not terribly far, 221 feet par three. You just want to get something out. Maybe a skip shot hyzer with something out uh, that's going to bank very hard left to get yourself up here to get a chance for the birdie. So we'll see how it goes. Eric has the box here trying to hold on to that one stroke lead. And I'm sure Eric's happy that he didn't hit first available or second available this time around. It's still not a good too spot. Straight, but, but he's actually still going to have a look. He's still gonna have a look for the uh, for the birdie. It's gonna yeah, be far. Yeah, that's probably away. what maybe forty feet, fifty feet. Yeah, but I took this H one V two very extreme hyzer, and it just hit the base of I one think of the you trees. Almost up there. got out. I think yeah, you were not very quite. Close. Trying to rip hyzer with my heart. That's a good line. Just needed a little more juice on it. Yeah. Got out. Maybe the thought would have been to a higher disc speed up. disc. Yeah, yeah a higher speed disc. Get more just flare. To get more flare, exactly. So I'm trying to do this little alternate Anheuser putt maneuver. Good. I get it out there, but I do leave it a bit short. Uh, Eric's a little further. Eric's yeah, a little that further might back than I like thought. 60 feet. Baskets, yeah. if you see the dirt right there on the left, it's all the way back that way. Good. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Would have been the freaking putt of the day yeah, if you would have canned that. That would have been a way to close the tournament. Yep. I'm probably about, what? 45 here for birdie oh, oh man that was your juiced think, it a little left that was probably your best long distance putt of the day yeah definitely no fun graphic showed up unfortunately to, to tell us no that, to tell us par. the distance and uh, low just again. a little low so Eric Eric is going to Eric's gonna take it here by. You better uh, stand behind your disc. Yeah, oh, man. A two stroke <laughs> margin. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just gonna do a little tap in here. Formalities at this point. Par for Donnie, par for Eric. So there you go. That's, uh, yeah, that that's the back nine for you folks. Probably could have played a little bit better. <laughs> uh, yep. Probably. Well, there you have it, folks. We finish off the back nine. Eric Gardner winning with a minus one, myself at plus six, and Eric Stout with a plus one. Definitely a tight battle near the end there. Eric really snuck it away with that birdie and really closed it off for between you two. Me, I was uh, I was definitely not really. <laughs> yeah, it was close towards the end. It really could have went either way. Eric, yep. Eric got uh, the better of me this time, better of us, rather, this time, but uh, we'll see how it plays out. Definitely uh, putting for all three of us. Uh, well, you know, we left a lot on the playing field, that's for sure. There's a lot uh, to be desired on the putting green, but uh, we'll try to work on that, all three of us collectively. Yeah, that's that's uh, definitely true. <laughs> well, if you folks like what you saw here for the whole little tournament that we had at Baycourt Park, please let us know by liking, subscribing, commenting, letting us know what you think, what you feel. Until next time, we'll, uh, we'll catch you all later. Toodaloo! Oh my gosh. Au revoir. Ha, 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 ha.